Hello everybody and welcome back to Getting Wrecked and our Long War 2 campaign. So we are going to go and try to deal with the Viper Listen King. Up, I'll be personally taking the lead on this operation. We're looking for someone. One of the finest minds to ever serve XCOM. I don't know what we're going up against, but we know she's out there. And we're not going to let anything stand in our way. Commander. I would strongly advise you have our forces equip the specialized weapons we recovered from the field. Their unique capabilities may prove invaluable on this mission. Good point, Doctor. Let's gear up. Alright, so I haven't done this mission in no war. So we will see what we have to deal with. Ranger, Gunner, Assault, Sharpshooter... I feel like we don't really need a shinobi... Since I don't think we have anyone with Blade Storm, we have, alright. That's cool. Now... I'm just watching here if... If he has a stock that actually does... Nope, it doesn't seem to do the old stock, this is the new stock. Right, well, fine. Now the question is, do we give uh, Bradford the sword? Or axe? Or should I give it to my shinobi? I guess we give it to the shinobi. Hunter axe. <clears throat> And Shadow Keeper. And we have no Grenadier in this group. That might be a thing. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Race rounds. Is that the thing we should have? I don't think we need um, hmm. AP rounds against the snakes. Shaped charge. A small directed explosive designed to knock down walls. This is a new item in uh, Long War. So yeah, tracer rounds might be good. Give them to our gunner. Our gunner should also have some kind of uh, weapon upgrades. <laughs> I'm thinking hat trigger might be good. Spad and mag might be good. Uh, stock is fine, even if it's not a old stock. Combat awareness, good on Overwatch. I mean, we could try it if it works with suppression, but I feel like it shouldn't. So go like this. Yeah, that is fine. We might run into some poison though. Let's get one more one more med kit. Shinobi, Shadow Keeper. The frost bomb. Let's bring frost bomb on the assault. And uh, let's remove the suppressor. don't really need suppressors for this mission. Even if they do look good on a uh, sniper rifle. Let's get an auto loader instead. What about your weapon? Oh, that's fine. Hmm, hacking, combat. Uh, 
advanced autoloader. You should be using uh, your swords most of the time, but we will see. Also, I'm thinking about if I should. Hmm, maybe you should have medkit as well. Nano scale west. I'm bringing a lot of medkits here since I'm not sure if we will have snakes with poison or not. Hmm. That's fine. This should be fine. They haven't <clears throat> made I am too much changes. The energy signatures we detected near the target site. Possible subterranean activity detected. Strong interference blanketing the area. Sensors are un. Biological readings in this area are erratic. In addition to several species of alien. Hold on, Doctor. We've got something. The data must be preserved at all costs. You must hurry. Take this and find Redfoot! It's her. Unfortunately, her friend never made it to the evac point. I had hoped to meet my predecessor under less extreme circumstances. Still, I have tracked her signal to an area not far ahead. Good. Lead the way, Doctor. Squad concealment active. Lead the way, Doctor. Designated position. Vipers. Why did it have to be vipers? Though I share your reservations about this species, there's something different about these creatures. They appear almost underdeveloped. Perhaps an earlier stage of growth, or some sort of precursor organism. Just as long as they're not bulletproof. Well, they only have two hit points, so... Location confirmed. <laughs> they shouldn't be bulletproof. Untouchable, Shadow Step, Blade Master. Yeah, I think he has the same old st um, skills as before, just that the fact that the weapon upgrades are Long War. Central, I have managed to restore portions of Dr. Valen's personal research logs. I will begin patching through what I can, immediately. Testing. System fixation. This is Dr. M5. Initial entry. It has taken me longer than I care to admit, but the secondary power system is... ...enough so that I can move on to more compelling work. I'm on it. Alright, so far so good. Boom. <coughs> Usually this get <coughs> this mission is pretty early in the Scanning. original game as well. On Overwatch. Or like in vanilla XCOM. Moving on target location. Roger, I've got my eyes on. I'm watching. But uh while attempting to salvage materials from what appeared to be a totally inert storage system. I made an astonishing discovery. A single cryostasis unit remained intact and occupied. This changes everything. Not sure I like the sound of that. This changes everything. Roger that. Right. Moving out. <coughs> I misclicked Leaving to my position. gunner here, so that might be a bit wonky. But usually you get this mission uh, in the early game, and it is. It appears to be the remnants of an alien genetics facility. With the damage to these containment units being so severe, I can only imagine the work that was being done here. Was she living out here? Just what the hell were you up to, Wallen? Uh, so this uh, mission was pretty early. I'm on the move. Oh, come on, so many misclicks. 
One more? What the? On your order. <laughs> Two missiles in a row. On the move. But yeah, so this mission is really early in the campaign, usually. Come but it's, so. Come get so. in my opinion, All much right. easier Fair than. And chance last gift. That's two ordinary vipers, so that's a bit worse. Target eliminated. The three unique viable embryos recovered from the surviving cryostasis unit. I now have a rare opportunity, one never afforded to me during my time with XCOM. I am free to pursue a research directive of my own choosing. Right. I'm on it. But uh, the problem is you don't have the stock in the same way as before. Let's hold a target this. Which I should have done before, yes I know, but um Beta light than never. Moving to position. It's just our pulser. Stunned even? Alright. Blowing down the wall almost here, but... Nice. Let's try to take... A moment to, to reload here. Oh yeah, you have auto reloader. I am preventing a potential catastrophe. The specimen's growth continues to accelerate. Given these creatures' apparent pliability when it comes to drastic changes in their genetic makeup, I believe it may be possible to reverse selected traits that the aliens themselves engineered into dormancy. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. So I wonder if he is correct in that, that Overwatch. they might be able to remove the manipulations. The aliens have exposed these creatures to is remarkable. Had I more time, I would study the exact nature of the suppressed traits I have discovered. However, there is a war to be fought and the world cannot wait for idle curiosity. On the move. So I'm thinking we will have uh, ads coming Run. out, maybe? Overwatch. Roger, I got my eyes. I'm on. I got movement here. Wait. Multiple biological signatures approaching your position. <laughs> Readings are erratic. Difficult to pinpoint. <laughs> Unable to determine at this point. Enemy is still off. Nice one down. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to equip the freaking bolt caster. Hostile target down. That could have been useful against uh, the snake king. Hostile target down. Heads up, people. Did we get everyone on the Overwatch? Oh, here comes more people. Snake people. Still only small snakes. That's I have rerouted the outgoing signal. 
An archer snake, maybe? I, I didn't see. The complete message is coming through now. An extreme biological hazard is present throughout this area. Genetically enhanced alien species in this region are of particular concern to the civilian populace. Do not approach under any circumstances. All attempts to be made to avoid contact with these life forms. This isn't a message. It's a warning. So I'm not sure if that uh, last group was activated or not. I guess we'll find out. Did I let the shotgunner take care of that guy? That was so close. Target eliminated. Trin is doing work. Revealed. <laughs> I like I like the heavy camera. This may be the last of them, Central. I am not detecting any additional signatures. Understood. Take them out and find Fallen. Sniping yeah, shotgun. Okay. I like the sun chairs back here. Were they active or did they? Incoming, over here. I guess they were active, maybe. Getting shot the hell over here. No, Bradford. Bradford is hit. I'm taking fire. Success. I have managed to remove the genetic blockers on the specimen's DNA. Allowing the repressed traits to flourish. Well, subjects Alpha and Beta show promise. It is subject Gamma I find the most intriguing. Green to go. It's a miss. Adjusting aim. Only our uh, Shinobi can see the one in the back, I guess. So we could use Ranger Reaper and we should almost be able to get that guy back there. I think so. Heading out. An easy All grace. Maybe we can snipe the one in the back down. Now I think they have changed death from above or high ground or something. Let's see. So here you can see also grants a long range accuracy bonus for sniper rifles. So if you get this perk you can actually snipe in full squad side I think. Without having to worry about Still missing. Okay. So I only have two guys left. Seems doable. Not too shabby. Need a resupply. Oh. I've been waiting for this. Let's activate the Reaper. That should give us a melee attack until we don't kill a unit, so 
that's kind of what you are supposed to use Bradford for. Is to go around killing people. My eyes are peeled. I am picking up faint traces of human DNA deeper in the facility. It just might be. Right, so I would actually try Manage. to wait until we have uh, Location confirmed. Closing on target Reaper up now. and run and running again. We also have three reloads here, so let's Reloaded. Let's start using them. Heading out. Let's do Stay this. Covered. All subjects Alpha and Beta both continue to exhibit exaggerated, sometimes erratic variations on their traditionally observed behaviors. Subject Gamma has grown to become something else entirely. Behind those eyes. There is an intelligence that I have not witnessed in any unaltered specimens of its kind. Heading out! I also wonder if she's uh, make, making her S's longer than before. If she's like talking like a snake. The extent to which the elders temper with the genetic fabric of their subordinate races knows no bounds. It occurs to me that this is the first male of the species I have ever encountered. Is this a form of population control? Or something more? Am I looking at the fate of my own species? Not if we can help it. Double time! So long this mission has felt uh, easier than uh, usual. Drop in temperature directly ahead. Such a large discrepancy defies any natural explanation. Something tells me that won't be the worst of our problems, Doctor. Got it, moving! Whatever you say! Now, if someone was going to buy... a terrible mistake. Commander, I sometimes wish you were here to keep my ambitions in check. Subject Gamma has escaped. A tremor opened, a minute fracture in the containment unit. That was all the creature needed. It shattered the metal, cracking it as if it were glass or a sheet of thin ice. Damn, what did you do? So if um, we'll do. you ha don't have the DLC for XCOM, on Overwatch. You might wonder, should I get... ...limited resources at my disposal. I wonder whether I should have focused my efforts on a single subject, rather than the three over which I must now preside. Few of my staff feel comfortable in the containment facility. I myself must therefore keep a constant vigil. Still, the potential benefits far outweigh these concerns. Though the unease around Subject Gamma in particular is... Admittedly contagious. So, if you're wondering if you should get uh, like uh, moving to position, uh, the DLC. Can we get up here? If you should get uh, lead and leaders, or if you should get chance last gift. It's kind of a hard choice. It also depends if you like to have. mechs or if you would like to have new weapons and new enemies but uh, I really like the leaders though because you have they do impact the game quite a lot I'm on it even if they are a bit nerfed in long war from my understanding okay so I'm just trying to not uh, trigger it just yet. Not sure where Overwatch. how far you can go before you activate it. Fisher went off in search of the creature. Damn her heroics. She found no sign of Gamma, but she did uncover a clutch of eggs. Preliminary analysis reveals them to be reptilian in nature. 
If Gamma is indeed reproducing, if it is somehow communicating with others of its kind, then... We are lost. Got it covered! I'm on it. Right, so... Are we sneak sneaking around enough now? Like, well, the most important part here is to spread out enough to not uh, get frozen. I'm on it. With at least more than two guys at the same time. I'm going. And also getting some high ground could benefit you. Moving to position. All right. So where should we put our uh, ranger or our? Heading out. Our assault can stay back here, I guess. On Overwatch. And then we pray. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Got some nice Overwatches. I'm on it. Got it covered. If they move, it's on. What? Nothing? Really? I was sure this would trigger them. Come get some. I'm on it. Alright, never mind. Let's. Hmm. On the move. Scanning. Come get some. I'm on it. Affirmative. Covering Come now. Get some. My eyes are peeled. Oops. I clicked once too much many times. I know I'm playing very very safe here, but Moving to position. I don't want to do something. On Overwatch. And also, this is kind of interesting. Got it Overwatch. Should you Overwatch. have Overwatch. everyone on Overwatch I'll keep an eye on it. when you trigger the king, or should you not? Because usually, the Viper King only moves or moves Come every on. time you move with any soldier Overwatch. Scanning. On Overwatch. So, to Overwatch. To Overwatch. so in that case so. you would like to have everyone on Overwatch and then trigger him on your order is that Vallen? unable to tell from this distance Life signs are being obscured by... I believe this would be Subject Gamma. Valen created a Viper King. Just what we needed. Yeah. So here's the deal. If you activate the Viper King on with your last move, you will have a lot of overwatches. But then uh, these guys, these small snakes, will run rampage. So that's an issue. Another issue is that my gunner can't reach. Could toss the frost bomb. like to get rid of his cover. Also, they will come be coming uh, in new snakes all the time, so just killing these small snakes might not be the best move either. And he has two armor, so I really want to shred the first. This is why I should have brought. Freaking Grenadier. Well, he might get closer to our uh, gunner. Oh, 
Alright, uh... It would seem Valen's crew is not intent on making this easy. Stay alert for rapid movement as it attempts to reposition itself. So not worth. In uh, long war, they move every time you end your soldier movements. Right. I'm pinned down here. I was kind of hoping for it to actually move away. This is a soldier's turn, will this make the leader move again? Impressed yet? Nope. Hmm. Can you reach with the flashbang? Of course you can't. You have AP rounds, so that's fine, shooting through like that. That guy is not moving a lot. Can you move now? Not quite. Will you stand back there all the time? I mean, I could toss a frost bomb, but I kind of don't want him to stand back here, so. Oh well. Frozen 2. Flank here? Nope. Should I just watch against the small snakes? I really want them to get closer. I have all my guys down here. Moving to Overwatch. The important part is to actually shred the armor, so... Central. I am pulling all relevant log entries on this Viper King now. I saw it. Okay, For do we want to get one... At the containment facility. Gamma. The creature has grown remarkably since its escape. Had the rest of the team not arrived, I am sure I would not be here now. I, I have no idea how I'm supposed to get... Get the Viper King closer to me, but alright. Let's keep on sniping. And try to check the frozen duration. Okay. <laughs> the frozen duration is zero. Maybe a flesh wound. Oh. He likes his cover way too much. Way too much. What? Can we just get a flank? Maybe that will make it so it moves. Move, move closer to the gunner, and I will be one happy camper. He's just calling for the freaking portal. Is some sort of psionic rift. I cannot begin to fathom why Dr. Volin would have allowed it to have this ability. I'm trying to make a break for it. Take it out before it gets away. Get in close. Heading out. Let's hope it doesn't uh, run away right now. So should we go for the crit? 
Orası tam. I think we just go for the damage. It's fine. Minimum damage. <laughs> That's the way. I guess we took half the HP, so... My gun didn't do anything. Here comes the hug. I have to say that uh, this was a bit <laughs> bad, but I didn't throw the armor. Not her. Central, I am not detecting any additional life signs. Human or But yeah, I should mm. Maybe I should have gotten the gunner in the middle of the room, especially since he was the officer. Could have been really useful. But anyways, having the DLCs, I think activating the missions makes the game easier because you don't have to pay money for building the weapons. You can control when you find the Viper King the first time around. Because... And you get two Viper Corpses, alright. That's not too bad. Resistance comms. Yep. I guess we are in a decent position. Maybe I should recruit some rookies. And I have one rookie to recruit. High aim, a little bit lower speed. It's only 10 bucks. And let's check our. Uh, we have to soldiers. keep after that thing, Commander. Dr. Valen seemed pretty concerned about the thought of these test subjects running loose. We'll have to track down that Viper and deal with it eventually. We should also be prepared for the eventuality that we will encounter the two remaining test subjects, the ones we have yet to identify. It is likely they have a similar means of escape via psionic rifts, meaning we could find them anywhere. I like the fact that uh, Tygen takes that, he just makes that assumption. He doesn't make the assumption that, oh, they will be able to use a snake tongue attack, or they will like to have chilly environments. No, he's like, they will be able to teleport. I know that. <laughs> Makes you feel like, well, that's you, you have a little bit too much information. But maybe he read it somewhere in the notes. Now, I only have two gunners, so let's get one more gunner. Even if low speed on the gunner might be dangerous. I think we should be fine, though. Um, what was we do? What was I doing? Uh, We were kind of liberating down here, I think. So 
order to get back Sending into South Africa. South Africa. Now the strength is pretty high, free here, so I really would like to start in another area soon. One hazmat vest has been added. Hello, Commander. So let's check what those actually do, if they give us free health or if it's more or less than that. Free health. Hmm. So the difference is the fire, acid and poison immunity versus the crit chance. So it's actually not too bad. Especially if you have it on like a technical, it could be really useful, or on anyone that you will not use a medkit on, or medikit. It's not too bad, I wonder how much it costs to actually build Commander. one, if it's cheaper than uh, the nanoscale vest. Nope, it's not. So much for hoping. Gremlin Mark II would be kind of good. You lived in one of the colonies for a few before linking up to Central, right? Yes, one of the advantages of working. The millions of people in those cities don't seem to mind all that much. Should I start a new uh, proving ground? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Skulljack. Red screen rounds. There are plenty of things that are kind of interesting. Alloy plating. Mm. Skull yak. A lot of supplies. I will need supplies for expanding with more of these radio towers. These are really cheap though. Seventy-five supplies, that's so much. It's done, kind of done. Mm, yeah. Let's check if we can even make more resistance counts. So we have a tower in East Africa, but we are kind of going for Western US. So I would kind of want to make a tower down in South Africa, but that would cost quite a lot. 150. You could also just uh, skip one region and make these towers in every other region. However, we also want this content bonus and then we would need to have two towers anyways. Supply drop 16 days. Oops, did we finish this while I was just waiting? Two extra damage on our sniper. That's quite good. Quite good indeed. Let's check out the uh, AVC. So who do we want to boost? Boosted cores for a gunner? Nah. Ranger? Damn good ground, could be really good for a ranger. Alright, so let's continue scanning down here. I guess so. Oh, advanced laser weapons. And we got a prototype. I didn't know you actually got prototypes for these. But that's fine with me. Facility lead. Hmm. Do 
are so many things to research. Oh, look at this. If I didn't build these, hmm. Should I remove? I could remove that um, Skalljack and start researching combat armor. I think I will do that. that and then we should check how many soldiers that's wounded still all a lot so that's now a tiger has been bugged out so he's talking all the time now this is a new addition in 1.1 that you can see these things reduce enemy strength ambush and advent troop column and material light so this is <coughs> A going loud mission. Going as loud as possible. Now, should I try to do some kind of assignment here in my in my squads, so I actually keep the same people in the same squad? Let's just go with this. So we got the Hussar. Gunner. We already have a gunner, but two gunners might be fine. A sharpshooter. Maybe even two sharpshooters, since we have Slash. With all those good perks. Should definitely bring a Grenadier. Six days. Spark. So, bringing a full squad and boost, or bring almost a full squad and don't boost. I think we could go like this and not boost. All we need to do is kind of give some, some more light, lightweight weapons, and we should be good to go, I think. Like, uh, give you a stun gun. And you have blue screen bombs. So it would be really good if you could bring as many flashbangs as possible. Maybe only flashbangs even. Let's bring a frost bomb. And uh, four flashbangs. But I think we will be fighting quite a lot. Combat awareness, weapon upgrades, suppressor. Should we get a uh, sniper rifle? Laser Lance. No upgrades for you. Let's change the Laser Lance. Give you some kind of armor piercing rounds, I guess. And more or less immunity to being crit. Critted. Those upgrades were not great on that weapon. What do you have? Mm. Let's get the suppressor because it looks good. Mm. Remove these upgrades. Get the laser cannon. Hmm, Trace Rounds is fine since you have a Shredder ability. So you will shoot at anyone with 
armor anyways to remove it. You ask that trigger. That is fine. Shinobi. Stealthy Shinobi. Alright, well, that's fine as well. Hunter Axe. AP rounds. Uh, immunity to be crit. Well, it's not immunity, but almost. Nice upgraded gun. Nice armor. Nice AP rounds, maybe. Flashbanger, that's good. Combat awareness. Do we have any overwatching people here? Not really, and I mean I kind of miss having a med kit in this squad. So I guess we could have the med, med kit on our sharpshooter, as long as he's standing far back. Laser guns, nanoscale west, napalm X, alright. She doesn't look very happy. It feels kind of weird to bring two sharpshooters and two gunners. Will it really work? I don't know. Let's try it. These missions usually go quite uh, quite loud on, so these are one of the few missions you actually might fight moderate alien activity or something like that, in my opinion. Okay, what's this? Hidden event. Five days. Cover item from Advent Facility. Now, we have a problem here, and that is the fact that we have mm, an enemy strength of four in this area right now. Which makes me a little bit worried. Because that means we will not have a super easy time. It does say very light. And you could boost this. If we boost this we have five soldiers. Or four soldiers, one spark. I don't like the fact that it's recovered item from an advent facility though, because advent facilities they really like to have uh, turrets. So I'm not so sure about this. But we can always try. Well, let's bring the hazmat suit so you don't get burned to a crisp. out of uh, suppressors that is not great out of suppressor there at least pretty high aim pretty high aim combat awareness stock on <laughs> that on that thing no thank you Slicey, slicey. I guess so, but. Yeah, I wouldn't mind to have Shinobi with a little bit more defensive capabilities. Especially with 4 health, it's also not really very impressive. Oops. Come on. Let's hope we still have the same group. Nope. 
Alright, well. It wasn't the hardest uh, group to make, it was just bring all the soldiers. Uh, Alright, so we were at the specialist. Alright, you have the Overwatch build. But I kind of want to give you hacking as well, but congratulations. You are now an Overwatcher. Is there any advanced hair trigger on these? Nope. Mm. Yeah, I will have to boost this. No way around that. Stand gun would be pretty nice to have. If I boost this, can I give you another weapon? Not really. Oh well. Oh well, oh well. Let's bring that squad. It will not be stealthy with with the spark, but. Deployed. Right. But yeah, all this strength. Maybe I should even put people into hiding here. And start scanning up here instead. Something like that. Setting course for Even if I kind of think I have a liberation going on here soon. Hmm, I think they actually told me something about this in 1.1. Uh, that if we go and check Assistance management. Yeah, so we can see these bullets here, I think. That is how close to liberation we are. So we have done two missions. I think. But I don't like the strength building up there just <laughs> right now. We will be able to remove one strength if we finish Resistance communications facility a mission where we actually destroy one of their convoys, which might be good. So we got resistance radio up and running, so we should be able to make contact. But we only have 93 intel. And I want to spend intel on one of these missions. I'm making contact down here, 108 intel. That's definitely something we need to do, but not right now. Damn good ground. Low profile. Look at this. This is really interesting perks for our Ranger. I'm really happy with how she's working out. So let's get her to get low profile. That's super good on a Ranger because they need to stay put and just shoot. We don't want them to run for cover all the time. We also got someone Ready to go there, I saw, in West Africa. I guess that was someone we could recruit. What's this? A really fast pe fast woman with a lot of dodge. Could be New orders, commander. something I probably use, could have I guess. Spent a lot of time repairing the ship's systems hmm. if we had any idea how to translate their language. 
Unfortunately, we don't come across many linguists out here. Let's uh, get you incoming, maybe. Get some. Well, get some is fine. It's not like I use any of them very often. I should, but I'm not. What's this? Four days. Recaptured rebels. I don't think we have any shinobi. We have an assault and a grenadier, and a specialist, and a ranger. Look at that! Are we actually getting rookies here? One, two, three, three rookies. Hmm. I mean, that made things a little bit more interesting. But still, still a really weak squad. Yeah, can't do that. So, red screen rounds lower and hack defense by 25 with every hit. Now, I don't know why this is. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. But red screen rounds lowers enemy hack defense by 25 with every hit. That is not what it says when you research it. It says extra damage to. Okay, I guess extra damage to the computer hardware. Yeah, so it's no extra damage at all. It's only lowering the hacking defense. That's too bad. I kind of knew that already, but uh, then when I read it again I thought that, oh well, it says it does extra damage to computer hardware. But yeah, it was just flavor text. Avenger plotting new course. Let's go to the black market and see if we can make enough money for... Uh, Can make enough money to actually get some uh, Skalyaks going. Let's sell some Shrupy Corpses. The hacking PCS I kind of like to keep though. There are a lot of things here I kind of want to sell but this get advent's attention in nine days so this is something I don't understand is this something you want to do because if I understand this correctly getting advent's attention will increase the strength of advent in that area sounds good commander I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment which uh, might be good, but I'm feeling like it's kind of bad, because what I'm not sure of is if I increase the strength here, will that bring strength down in South Africa, because they for will bring their forces to West Africa instead? If that is the case, that could be really useful, because if I lower the strength in South Africa, I can continue on with the liberation mission. For but if it's Africa. just spawning more aliens or more advent strength, this might be a terrible idea. So yeah, I don't know. Mm, should I bring... Do we have anyone that is actually ready to go here?
Look at this, we can almost make we can almost make a squad. Hmm. Almost. Very light. We can over infiltrate this. We have five soldiers. It's not super impressive. It really isn't. At least we have two, <laughs> two specialists. Uh, so yeah, that's a thing. So we could have some good old red screen rounds and start to hack things. Is that a thing? Maybe. Mm -hmm. You have locked up flashbanger. Okay, that's good. Good for you. Advanced scope. Expanded mag. That's good. That's a really good weapon for a um, ranger. You have damaging uh, grenades. I feel like you might need damaging weapons as well. Your aim is pretty low, but you do have you do have a lot of hit points. You do have a laser weapons that will increase your chance to hit. That's fine. Bolt caster. Should we get the shatter ray maybe? Scatter ray. Holy crap, so many things to do. Uh, yeah, you have the bonuses to your um, stun stun thingy that wasn't a lot of upgrades hmm, I think we need to start to take another go at removing upgrades here Let's just do that. Get the laser rifle. Bad aim. Bad aim. Hack. Ooh, that's a lot of hack. You should get the hacking upgrade. Laser rifle, med kit, weapon upgrades, stock and hair trigger. And since you have all. No. Alright, fine. I'm feeling like I'm bringing too many med kits here. Way too many med kits. Let's get a smoke grenade instead for you. All these missions, it's kind of like I should Sky Ranger deployed. tell everyone to avoid uh, the uh, intel missions right now because I feel like we will get too many missions at once here. Alright, so what's this? Recover an item from Advent Facility, counter hidden event, guarded evac 6 turns. Yeah, we will need to boost this. I think this was the squad with uh, the, the spark, wasn't it? I think so. I still don't know how to read this, but we have the spark here at least. 
But anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode, and I will see you again next time. Goodbye.